So today we are going to create text animation using particles. So let's get started. Create a new composition by clicking new. Rename the composition as text. Today we are using 2K dimensions. That would be 2048 by 1556 pixels. Frame per second is 25 and duration is 10 seconds. Click OK. Go to the toolbar and select text tool. Write your text as per your need. In our case, we would be choosing a channel name that is Creative Toots. Align the text to the middle. Now select the text layer, right click, and pre compose it. Rename it to text underscore comp. Click OK. Again, go to toolbar and select rectangle tool. Make a rectangle just big enough than the text. Open the mask properties. Move the time to zero seconds. Click stopwatch next to mask path. Now move the timeline to 5 seconds and select the rectangle and move it till the end of the text. Perfect. Let's check it once again. A very simple animation using rectangle. Now create a new composition. Rename it to final. Click OK. Go to the effect window and add text comp to the timeline. Hide its visibility. Now right click on the timeline, click new and add a solid layer. Rename it to particles. Click OK. Go to effects control. Right click and add trap code particular effect to this layer. Go to emitter. Change particles per second to 1 million. Make text layer as 3D. will give an error just click OK. Change a meta type to from point to layer. Go down and go to layer emitter and select layer to none from text. Change layer sampling to particle birth time. Change velocity from 100 to 200. Now go to particles. Change life per second to 4. Change life random percentage to 50. Change fair weather to 0. Now change the size of the particles to 1.5. Change size random percentage to 50. Now go to opacity over life. 
select the presets and select the last preset. Also change the blend mode from normal to screen. Go to physics. Now we have to change the gravity of the particles. So change the gravity to minus 200 and go to air. Now change the air resistance to 1. Change the Windex to 100. Go to Turbulence field. Change Effect Position to 300. Go to Rendering. Go to motion blur, change motion blur to on, change shutter angle to 90. Now go to effects and preset. Now add a glow effect to this layer. Change glow threshold to 50%. Change glow intensity to 0 0.5. Again, go to effects and preset and add a sharpen effect to this layer. Change sharpen amount to 10. Now duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl D or go to edit and click duplicate. Go to emitter. Change velocity to 150. Go to particles. Change life per second to 1. Change life random percentage to 100. Change size to 2.5. And change size random percentage to 100. Also change opacity to 0. Go to physics, change gravity to minus 100, go to turbulence field and change effect position to 100, Now go to rendering, change particle amount to 200, go to glow, change glow threshold to 85%, Now go to project window and add text underscore com to the timeline. Move it below to the text layer. Go to effects and preset and add linear wipe effect to this layer. Move the timeline to 0 frames again. Change vibe angle to 0 and minus 270 degrees. Change feather to 30.
click stop watch next to transition completion move the timeline to 5 seconds and change its value to 0 let's check it once again if it works Uh, change the vibe angle to 270 degrees from minus 270 degrees. Now let's check the animation once. Perfect. One more time. Go to the text comp and change the last frame to 122 frames. Uh, let's check the animation once. Perfect. Let's add a background to this animation. Create a new solid, rename it to BG. You can add any solid you want to. In our case, we would be adding a start dust effect to this layer. Open its presets and go to background and select plankton. Click OK. Let's look the animation once again. it's done that is folks if you like my tutorial hit the like button if you don't like the tutorial just dislike it if you have any suggestion just provide the comments in the comments box